You filming? Yep, it's oh. filming right now. All right, hey, all right, cool. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Insert Adventure here. Today, we are talking about the 10 essentials. What are the 10 essentials, you might ask? Well, if you're a Boy Scout for whom this video is intended, <laughs> then, uh, then you should be telling me. I don't know what the 10 essentials are, but hey, let's go figure it out while we walk. Let's go. So here in the rugged outdoors of the great backyard, we will run into everything that we might need to use the 10 essentials for. The first one, of course, is water. Water, just like anything. You want to decide where you're going, how long you're going to be there, what you're going to do there, how many people you got. Water is always the most basic thing. For me personally, since I'm a full-grown adult, I weigh about 230 pounds. I usually have about a gallon of water with me, give or take a liter. All right, depending on what I'm doing, I have at least a three-liter camelback with me. Sometimes I put an extra liter in my backpack. All right, after water comes food. You're doing good, buddy. You're doing good. You're doing good. After water comes food. Just like with water, Logan, Logan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's all good. Just like with water, you're gonna decide where you're going, how long you're gonna be there. I got some little carbohydrates right here. I got some goldfish. Goldfish are great. Yummy. I know, right? You want some goldfish? And maybe after this video. Okay. Goldfish are cool because a lot of calories, a lot of carbohydrates for energy. And they don't hardly weigh anything, all right? Yeah, so it's very easy to throw them. So they're easy to throw at your son while he films the fence instead of you. Hey! Come on, all right. Stop throwing on me! <laughs> After food is sun protection. You want to protect yourself from the sun. The sun's starting to go down right now. So we'll use good. sunscreen! Absolutely. We got to use sunscreen. Right now, I am doused. Camera. 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 <laughs> Right now, I am doused with sunscreen. I also typically wear long sleeves. Even if it's a hot day out, I usually wear a long sleeve to keep the sun off me. Also, you have your protector dogs. And I have the protective sun dog. Oh, oh, oh. If you'll notice in my videos, I'm always wearing a hat. Like, no matter what, hats are always great to have with you when you go out. <laughs> After sunscreen is a light. You always want to have a light. You want to have more, light, more than one light if you can. I got a regular flashlight in my flashlight. backpack. I've got a headlamp right here. Headlamps headlamp. are great. Great. Because now, obviously, Ruby. I have both my hands. Hands. And I can film while I talk while I have my light on. See, while I talk while I have my light on. <laughs> Try to find a light that has a red lens like this one. Red, red lens, lens like is a lot one. better for your eyesight at night. It's not going to kill your, your natural uh, night vision. Like a, a bright white light will. It's not going to kill your natural eyesight okay, like, a, like a white <laughs> light will. Stop it. All right. Sorry. Okay. After sun protection is lights. After a light, we're going to have a map and compass. You want to know where you're going to be and roughly what part of the state, what part of the national park, wherever you're going to be. You want to know where you're going to be. You never want to get lost. But if you do get lost... You at least want to know what direction you're facing, roughly where you are, so you can know where to go to get out of there. And if you have enough snacks, because you're sure going to be hungry on Absolutely. that journey. Now, luckily, I have a USGS map of my backyard. Backyard! Backyard! And backyard! A compass! So. And a map! Okay, okay, tone it down. Sorry. Hold, hold the camera still. Hold the camera still. Hold the camera still. <laughs> Come okay, on. I'm gonna turn the map to where I am. Oh, I know I'm roughly in this area. Okay, I got my compass. And I think I'm facing this way. Oh, wait, no, I'm actually facing that way. <gasps> I need to go back that way. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Ruby! Okay, good thing I stopped to check my map and compass because I would have gone all the way to the other side of the backyard. Look, hold the camera still. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Just wait until after Ruby takes the camera, please. Okay. Okay. Good thing I got my bag out, because now it's starting to get cold out, and I'm not going to be moving around as much. I'm going to put some warming layers on. It's kind of cold out here. Yeah. Now, here, everything is waterproof, naturally. Oh, no. It's about to snow. 
<laughs> Please hold the camera still. Trying to. Okay, Ruby, can you go get the camera from him, please? Yes, please, please. Okay, seriously. Go, go, go. Take the camera, please. Take the camera, please. Take the camera, please. Those like taste better than water. Okay. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Thank you. All right, cool, guys. Now. Warming layers. You always want to have a warming layer or just extra clothes in general, you know, because you never know if you're going to get wet, if the temperature's going to drop, if you're going to fall <laughs> into a pool and you need to change your clothes out. Please back up. Please back up, sweetie. Right here, I got long versions of the shorts that I'm wearing. For the purposes of the video, I don't need to show you me changing my pants out, but I am going to throw on, oh, I also got socks. You always want to have extra socks, again, in case, please. In case you, uh, uh, what do you call it? I can't think. <laughs> you always want to have extra socks in case, you know, you walk through some wet dew, uh, grass, you know, wet from the dew in the morning. All right, here, I got long sleeves. Typically, when it's going to be getting darker is when it's going to be getting colder. I like to have lighter colored long sleeves. Oh. Wrinkles. Use downies. <laughs> This is a this is a downy commercial. Do you want your clean clothes? <laughs> Do you want to go camping with wrinkled clothes? Never. <laughs> All right. So the temperature's going down. I just checked my map and compass. I got my sleeves on. Now I'm nice and warm, and I'm gonna make it rain. Right wow! I never camp. a real snowflake. All right. Okay. Another one. Oh, okay. there are so many snowflakes. Ruby, Ruby, please. Everything goes into a waterproofing apparatus, like a trash bag. Ooh, Alright, my headlamp fell. I need to grab my headlamp. And then, we're gonna get moving back that way, because the compass told me I was going the wrong way. Oh, good thing I have my 10 essentials. Alright. It's starting to get dark, too, so... All right, let's go. All right, now we're gonna make our way back this way because I have to find my way back to civilization out of this um, <laughs> dreadful backyard. Oh man! Oh no! I scratched my face. Oh man! Whew! Well, good thing I brought my 10 essentials, because the next thing on the list is a first aid kit. Marshall socks! Why aren't you wearing shoes? <laughs> okay, the next thing on the list is a first aid kit. No. P PC. Don't get in trouble, kids. Now, here we have a first aid slash emergency preparedness kit. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to treat a wound. We're just going to go into basics. Oh man, I got a scratch right here. Well, I've got my... Who is this? It's happened to me before, but to my daddy. Oh, it's Aurora. My daddy. I've got my Aurora band-aid. Yes, daddy, little buddy, yes. It looks like it's about to get rainy out here. <gasps> the snow is melting! The snow is melting and it's turning into a rainstorm. Good thing I have my ten essentials. Well, we're under trees. We're not going to get rained yes, on. Yes, but I'm trying to make it to my rescue spot over there. So, that's why I have waterproofed everything inside my bag. That's tangled. Not Aurora. It got gross. You know, I thought that as soon as I said Aurora, but I was hoping nobody would notice. Thank you, Ruby. Okay. Oh no, it's raining spike balls. Got my first no, level of rain gear on, but it looks like there's a pretty bad downpour going on up there. So I'm going to put my... The pouring is raining on the tree so hard, spike balls are oh, falling. Oh no. Somehow, nowhere else but on your head. Remember, do not be that person who uses rain gear as a warming layer. Rain gear, by the, you know, by its nature, is not breathable. You will sweat and sweat and sweat inside your rain suit. 
You should only wear rain gear when it's actually raining or about to rain. You don't want to wear it to keep yourself warm. Foot, 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 foot. Stop it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're good. It's raining so hard. It's like over Oh. All right. Whew. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Why are you going in there? Ruby! I made it to the clearing, and the rain is definitely on its way, but it's not here yet, but it's not here yet, but it's not here yet. I have to signal the people to let them know that I made it. I'm going to make a buzzsaw. For you guys, of you guys who don't know what a buzzsaw is, let me get it up. The 10 essentials, of course, also applies to whoever you're with. If I'm out with my kids, I got rain gear for my kids as well. All right, but that's not part of the buzzsaw. A buzzsaw is a signaling device to get attention out to people who are far away from you. This is common paracord that you're going to find at a sporting goods store. You can find it at a camping aisle. You can find it at Walmart. And this is a common, what do you call it, glow stick. You can get these anywhere. When I was a kid, you couldn't hardly find these. Everybody knew about them. You could find them, you know, at Halloween time sometimes. Uh, but now they're pretty much everywhere. This one I literally got at a grocery store party favor section. You can get these things anywhere. So, to make a buzz saw, I'm going to get about six feet. I'm six feet tall, so therefore my wingspan is also about six feet. Six. And a hand, I'm going to pick up the last part. Ten essentials is a knife slash pocket knife. Now, a pocket knife, they made the 10 essentials back before these tools were common. This is your common Leatherman Gerber tool. You want to make sure it has a good knife, a good saw, a good uh, flathead, and a good can opener. I'm going to cut right here so I got my six feet. Now, the last part of your 10 essentials is fire starting gear. I'm going to use my fire starting gear to melt the ends of this 550 paracord. Okay. You always want to do that so that the paracord doesn't become overly frayed and unusable. So, fire, fire starting gear. If I, well, if I got matches, I'll use the matches as well. Now, if you're in some sort of emergency situation in which you know speed is of the essence, sort of like when you're making a YouTube video, you might want to do it quickly or not do it at all, wait until later. But you are making a YouTube video. I know. Oh, man. Now, can you back up so that people can see? Now. Okay, that broke. That wasn't supposed to break. Good thing I have another one. This is happening in real time. You guys can get an actual real idea <laughs> of the process that goes on in making a buzzsaw. Okay, I learned my lesson last time. This is a cheapo uh, Kim light that I got from a grocery store, so I'm not going to pull too hard on it. Okay, now, back up please, so that people can see. And as soon as I start signaling, I have a feeling the rain is about to hit, so I need to get going. I need to get ready. Alright. I'm going to crack it, activate it, shake it. Here, yeah, back up, honey, back up. And then I'm going to signal to the people over there who are going to come rescue me. Ah, Woo! So now this is visible for miles and miles and miles. This is visible to aircraft if you're ever stranded. This is visible to somebody on a mountain. Or if you're stuck up on a mountain and you need to be rescued, people can see this from miles away. Okay. If you don't want it so big, make it three feet. Make it smaller. Okay. All right. Oh man, I can tell. The rain's coming. Good thing I got my rain gear. Daddy, come here. What? What? What's up? What's up? Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze the nozzle. Squeeze the trigger. Squeeze the trigger. Um, I better uh, put my hood on. Oh, oh the rain's here. Oh, good thing I'm completely covered. Oh, yeah. Good thing I got my tennis stitchel and I can fight it off. With the buzzsaw, stab it, stab it, stab it. The buzzsaw does nothing. 
The bus stop does nothing. Ah! Okay, the rain stopped. The rain stopped. Okay. Okay, everybody. Again, and today we talked about the fit essentials. We started off with water. Remember, you want to make sure you have enough water. You never want to skimp on water. You always want to have more than less. It weighs a lot, I know, but as the day goes on, it's not going to weigh so much. And by the time you get to the end of the trail, the end of the day, your bag weighs 8, 10, 12 pounds less than it would when you stepped off. Same thing with food. You want to make sure you have good calorie-dense food. Something that doesn't weigh, doesn't weigh a whole lot, high in fat, high in carbohydrates, a lot of energy for you. Okay. Next, you want to have, you definitely want to make sure you protect yourself from the sun. So this goes for a hat, as well as sunscreen, as well as long sleeves. You want to make sure you have a light. Even during the daytime, sometimes you come across a cave, sometimes you, you come across like a, a, a cabin, something. You might want to be able to see inside that you couldn't see otherwise. You want to have a light. You want to have a map and compass. You want to have warming layers. You want to have extra clothing. Especially you want to have fire. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You want to have... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that you. Um, where was I? Extra clothes. Those are good. <laughs> where are the other two? <laughs> oh, come on. All right. There you go, buddy. Logan, we're eating the other two. <laughs> Map and compass, extra clothes. You want to have a first aid kit. You want to have rain gear. Make sure, again, you're not using your rain gear as a warming layer because you're going to sweat and sweat and sweat. Oh my god, it actually is raining now. <laughs> it's raining. All right. You want to make sure you have a, a, a knife, tool, something that has a good saw, a good blade. Remember, if you're a Boy Scout, it can't be too long and it can't be a fixed blade. If you're not a Boy Scout, then whatever. Just get yourself a Leatherman or a Gerber. You want to make sure you have a good can opener and a good flat blade screwdriver. Uh, you want to have good fire starting equipment. Stuck out in the rain. You don't want to get too cold. You want to have a good fire. All right, guys. That was fun. I'm going to go get dried off.